Hey everybody, this is Ray Halstead and Andrew McMill with RHCPA. Today we want to go over the Augusta rule. Now this is a pretty cool rule that, I, that works really well for small business owners, so I want to make sure you guys are aware of it. I've got Andrew McMillan here with me today um, to talk about it. Andrew, what can you tell us about the Augusta rule? So the Augusta rule is kind of what, um, what it's referred to as, but it, it's actually talking about Internal Revenue Code Section 290A. So the Augusta rule basically says that you, if you have a home that you use as your primary residence, you can rent it out for 14 days or less, and you don't actually have to claim that as income on your tax return. So it was born out of the residents of Augusta, Georgia, um, who would rent their homes out for the Masters golf tournament every year, and they lobbied way back when to the IRS to get this passed, and it was. So a good thing for us though That's is crazy. They, they made it available to everyone. So yeah. it is pretty kind of a unique rule there, um, the history behind it. But, uh, but yeah, it's a really great rule that if you rent your home out for 14 days or less, you do not have to pick that up as rental income on your tax return. It's just basically tax free. Right. So. But there are some there's some technical aspects to this that you need to be aware of. There certainly are. Um, the biggest one really is just making sure that you're charging a fair market value rent. Um, you don't want to be overly aggressive in this area because it's definitely something that if you're ever audited, it's an easy one for the IRS to reverse. So you want to make sure that you are charging a fair market value rent for your home. And um, this deduction is really good for business owners as well. Not only is it good for you on the individual side, but it's good on the business side because if you're a business owner, you can rent your home to your business. Your business can pay you the rent, so you get you don't have to charge you don't have to pick that up as income to you personally. And your business can also take a tax deduction for it on the business side as well. So if you use your home for meetings or board meetings, corporate corporate events, you can certainly take advantage of this rule. But again, you. It always falls back to what's ordinary, what's necessary, and what's a fair market value. So I always recommend for clients to look at, you know, comparable homes in their neighborhood and the surrounding areas, what they would have to pay to get something comparable at another venue. Um, you know, if, if you're seeing where people are charging $200 for renting some space and you want to charge $2,000, that's not going to be reasonable. So right. you definitely want to make sure it's reasonable. You have documentation for how you came to the number that you're charging and um, just make sure that it's serving a business purpose um, if you want to try to deduct it through your business. So it's a really great deduction for just individuals who just want to rent their home out. Maybe you have a nice lake house, you want to rent it out for, for a week or two over the summer. Um, but it's also really great for the business side as well. If you own your own business, use your home for a, for, for, for a meeting and you can get a deduction. company party or a company meeting, let them rent the house out for the day for fair market value. Yep. Really good deduction. Awesome. Well, if you guys have any questions about the Augusta Rule, you feel like this is something that you're interested in and would like to know more about it, feel free to give us a call and we'll help you out. Thanks.